I think we're good to go, right? We're ready to do some collaborating today. Collaboration is something I deeply believe in. Students really learn most deeply and mostly from their peers. And as a result, I need to be able to help them learn how to do that in an academic environment. So we will spend a lot of the year working on specific strategies to be able to collaborate. Oh, so that's what you meant. It was, I guess. It's not cooperative learning because cooperative learning typically is looking for one end product, one project, and we can all kind of work toward that. Right. Collaboration is very different. Collaboration asks students to examine, asks students to pull apart, reassemble, and come up with something new, but not necessarily by consensus. That individuals bring their own perspectives and ideas into a group where that idea then is kind of put into the hopper, wrestled with, and then each student emerges with some new idea of their own. A theme that's emerging is um, that maybe it was her, her pride that alienated her. If I have 24 students in my class, there will be 24 different ideas that leave that classroom. The value of having 24 different points of view is being able to see multiple perspectives. In the classroom, we really need to be able to handle contradiction, ambiguity. The first sentence, you said it was to the point and direct. You said that, but he said that it was broad, so I didn't really know what to think about that. Individual students need to feel empowered to examine an idea by testing it by other students, strengthening it, and then leaving with a stronger idea. But I didn't even realize that using just like a transition word could completely reshape this. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Collaboration is not a consensus driving device. It's a way for people to problem solve and it's an environment for them to be able to engage in productive thinking and learning. So keep going, all right? You're doing a great job.